All right, go. Okay, so today we're going to draw the section of T4, 5, and we always, as usual, we start with the vertebra. So with the vertebra, this vertebra looks a bit different to the other one, just because it is the thoracic um, vertebra, not the cervical vertebra. So before we did C6, but this time we're doing thoracic. And the thoracic vertebra has, has a different shape, just because it um, has a requirement to carry more weight on the body. As usual, we will draw the um, the structures in the middle first, next to the ribs. Oh, sorry, next to the vertebra. Here we have the um, here we have the thoracic duct, and that is a major collecting duct for lymph in the, most of the body. Next, we have here the descending aorta. I'll label it D A, and we have the ascending aorta, which I'll mark A A. If you imagine, we can connect the ascending aorta and the descending aorta with the arch of aorta, as we've learnt before. But just because it's a sectional cut, you will not see the ascending uh, the arch of aorta um, because we're taking it at one plane. If you remember in this cervical vertebra of C6 that we just did before, the esophagus was here. But this time, the esophagus will be drawn in a semicircle because it is closed. It is constricted as it has no um, um, bolus in it, which is um, the food, which is chewed up food. So it is drawn like this. And the trachea usually will never be closed just because it has the rings to, to support it and reinforce it to make it open. However, the esophagus does not have these rings. Here we have the azygos vein, uh, um, sorry, the azygos nerve, and that is quite an important nerve in the body. As usual, if you would remember, we would have the um, vertebra, we had the esophagus before, and we had the trachea in C6. But as we've moved down in the body into the thoracic area, we now have the carina of the trachea. The carina is the join and the um, the connection between the right main bronchus and the left main bronchus. I'll connect here the right main bronchus and here is the left main bronchus. If you have if you visualize it in a different way, here is the trachea and this is the carina. At this point where the right main bronchus and the left main bronchus split. Before we were taking images at this plane, now we're taking it down here. So therefore we will not see the trachea anymore. We also have here the pulmonary artery. And then, as I said before in the last slide, the lungs will take most of the sectional cut in this image. So here in the sectional cut, the lung will overtake this whole area. I will label it LL for left lung. Also, we have a right lung in this area, which will be drawn like this. And I will label it RL. We also have... The, at the most anterior section, we have the body of the sternum. The, bo the sternum itself is a flat bone, and it is placed here in the front. We have, um, we have the ribs which connect the vertebra to the body of the sternum. So if you can imagine, the ribs go all the way across. However, the ribs are not all completed by the bone. There are intercostal cartilages which complete this area. It differs from human to human how far the rib will go. However, at the end of the day, from the corner of each um, body of the vertebra, it will connect all the way across to the body of the sternum. That's why when people do CPR, the you're not actually breaking bone, you're just breaking very dense cartilage. So to show the um, examiner that you understand that there is a connection from here to here, you would draw this, the um, ribs like this on each side. So here, rib, rib, and you would draw just sectional pieces like this to show that there is a connection between the two. So as we said before, body of vertebra, this is L5, this is the right lung, left lung, right main bronchus, left main bronchus, there is here the zygos vein, the esophagus, the descending aorta, ascending aorta, pulmonary artery, and here we have the thoracic duct. This is the carina, where there is the join of both of the bronchus. And that's it. That's T4, 5.